Okay, in this tutorial, we're just going to take a look at uh, lighting a little bit, and in particular, we'll look at the specular highlights. So I'm within Blender Render. So part of the reason I work with Blender Render a lot, and in texture mode with uh, GLSL, which is, remember, down here, come down to Display, and under here, Shading, it's defaults at Multi-Texture, I have it it's set at GLSL. So I use this a lot because these are the kind of lights that I use within the game engine. I can't use cycles effects. So I can't use cycles rendering within the game engine when I'm doing real-time animation. So a lot of it is about controlling your lighting. You either have to put a lot of textures within your games or control the lighting. I prefer to control the lighting. So in here what I have is this green object like this. Notice by default it usually shows up like this with this intensity of like 0.5 for specular highlights. And the specular highlights are these little bright spots for those of you who are new to computer graphics. And you can see how these lights play a part. If I get this close to there you can see that little reflection changing right there. So the little things like this really make a difference as, as far as the way the object appears. And there's several different types. This notice in here, right here, you have all these different types of specular reflection. They're, lo they're subtle, but sometimes it's maybe the effect that you're looking for. You can just see how they're changing each one. All right, so you might want to experiment with those. Those are really hard reflections like that. And also you can change them by this hardness value by cranking this up like this. You can see how it kind of isolates it like that and the intensity. All right. Or even sometimes maybe you have a light in the scene. So, you know, you see these reflections a lot in photography and uh, model in the eyes of models. You'll see the shape of the softbox or the flash that they're using. It'll show up. Sometimes you'll see a little square right inside their eyeball, right? Or you can come over here to this light here and then this option shows up here, the light right here, and you can come down here and you can actually turn that specular highlight off for that particular lamp. Right, but there you can see the lights floating around. Now a lot of times when I'm doing the tutorials, I'll come in and I'll just turn this specular, specular highlight off just because it's sometimes easier to see and it doesn't throw off the rest of the scene. But I do like working with this GLSL lighting model a lot. It just gives me a lot of control as far as, I don't know, just something about it's pretty interesting. All right, well, that's it for now, and I'll see you in the next lesson.